Hey guys, so this is day one of your, of your week, and so it's gonna be all about quality of movement. So all that means is we're learning how to move with a resistance band. So you're gonna be focusing on the cueing words that we're talking about in the videos, and you're also just gonna be focusing on your core and how it's affected by which way the band's pulling you. So it's just all about quality, and quality just means that you're conscious. So you, you know, oh, the band's moving my core. Oh, the band's moving my leg. And you just work on following the keywords as best as you can. And so day one is just all about that focus. Good luck and have fun. Hello everyone, my name is Maura. My name's Haley. And we are going to run your warm up today. We will be starting with some mobility, moving into some body movements just to get all warmed up. And then we'll jump right into the workout. Let's do it. For today's mobility, we are gonna start with the neck mobility. We'll then work into cat-cow. We'll move on to 90-90, and then a big toe stretch. Exciting. <laughs> so, for the <laughs> neck mobility, you're going to want to sit or sit up straight. Um, shoulders back, you don't wanna be hunching over like this. So you wanna sit up straight and just have a proper posture and you're going to let your neck lightly and slowly lean down and stretch your neck out. You're gonna rotate starting from the front, have your chin touch your chest, and have your other ear to your shoulder, and all the way back. We're gonna do this three times clockwise. Two. And three. The next movement is going to be our cat cow. So your cat cow, you'll get on your fours, arms and knees, and cat looks just like that Halloween cat. Your back, you're stretching your spine, and it's upward. And then cow <laughs> will be stretching downward. You gonna throw out a little moo in there? Yeah. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> and we're gonna do this 10 times. So we're gonna go through cat, cow, 10 times. The importance of this mobility in your warm up is just to be able to understand how your body feels, what it feels like through the movements, where you're restricted and just take note of what might feel good or maybe what you're not ready for yet. And we're just going to do three more. Okay, the next mobility movement will be our 90-90. And so you're going to sit down on your bum. Your one leg will be right in front of you and be a 90 degrees. And then your second leg behind you will also be at 90 degrees. The goal for this is so that you are flat on your bum and you don't move. I'm going the wrong way, so I'm gonna switch. <laughs> okay, so the goal is to be flat on your bum so you don't move, you're sitting up straight, you want to keep that posture and you're going to twist open up your hips and make it to the other side you don't want your legs to be too too wide you just want your legs to open the width of your hips if you're having a hard time sitting up straight and keeping that bum on the ground you may have to lightly lean back you can use your hands to support you to make it through and back. So let's just do this two more times. You can really feel that <laughs> stretch in your hip. And one more. And again, feel that stretch. Don't push it too far. 
but just let your body sit in it and feel that mobility. The second part of the 90-90 is we're actually going to be able to lay down. So you're gonna to wanna to stay in your 90-90 and just lay down. Or lay down and then get in your 90-90. There's no difference. And right now, your back won't be flat necessarily to the ground, but you're just gonna move your legs in similar motion to when you were sitting up. And you're gonna let your body stretch. Let your abdomen twist. What feels good and maybe what you're not ready for yet. And we're just gonna do it two more times. One. And two. Okay, so our last mobility move for the warm up is called the big toe stretch, which I know is kind of hilarious a little bit. <laughs> um, but the point of big toe <laughs> stretch is actually that you're going to have your foot, feet, both of them, sorry, right on the toes. So this is how your foot is going to hang out most of the time. And you're going to bring one leg forward. I'll start with my left. So my left leg forward. So now you're at a 90 with both your legs, one's in front, one's in the back, and your toes are tucked under. You're going to lightly, slowly and controlled, sit back onto that heel. And you're gonna toes feel a stretch. Fire. Yeah, toes on fire. <laughs> hammies, calves, you're just gonna feel that stretch. Let your body lightly sit in it. Don't force it down, just lightly sit. If you need to use your hands to support you, support that. And then you can come up and let's do that again. On the same side, we're gonna lightly sit back and you're just gonna let your body sit there. Again, pay attention to what feels good. Mobility should not be painful. You should just be able to feel that release. And we'll go back. We're gonna switch legs. So the leg that was originally in the front will now go to the back with your big toe propped. And my right leg is gonna come up. And we're gonna do the same. Slow and controlled, we're gonna sit back. Don't forget to use your hands, keep you stable if you'd like. If it's not needed, that's cool. <laughs> Good balance, that'll come later. I'll definitely be still using my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and just work to get that stretch. We'll do it one more time. Perfect. So that is our mobility section of the warm up. We're going to start moving into actually getting warm and we'll be moving to our kicks and our animal walks. So our kicks, if you can get possibly, I'm going to use a wall. You can use a wall. You can use a chair, a desk, a counter, whatever's best for you. And it's kind of fun, reminds me of when I was a kid a little bit. And you're just gonna let your leg dangle and hang. And you're gonna move it. It doesn't matter how high it goes. This isn't a height competition. <laughs> you're just gonna take it lightly and just let your body move. And kind of swing it the way it wants to swing. Back and forth. And you should feel your heart rate starting to pick up a bit more than the mobility and you should start getting warm. And then we're gonna switch legs. Same position, arms holding on and lightly swinging. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's a little goofy, but you're gonna notice that your heart rate will start picking up. And you're gonna start getting warm. And then 
we are going to get into our animal walks. Um, I personally love animal walks. It also kind of brings me back to like my childhood and my youth. There's really no perfect animal walk. That's kind of what's so cool about them. You don't have to worry about your form. Just let your body move the way it wants to. Um, so there are a few different um, placements, let's say, but really you can just make them up. Um, we like to call this one bear crawl. You could do an army crawl. Um, you could do a crab walk. Yeah, you could go from here to here. You can jump a little bit. And this is literally what we're both just gonna go through. Like this. Bear crawl's one of my favorite. <laughs> Crab walk. Ooh, oh man. And we're just gonna get warm. <laughs> okay, after about 30 to 45 seconds of that, <laughs> we're out of breath. Whew. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Already, yeah, of course. Sweating. <laughs> and we are going to move into, woo, our seated roll, which Ooh, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can either sit cross or you can sit with your two whew, feet right in front of you. We're going to bring our heart rate a little bit back down. Take a few breaths to catch that. I truly am sweating. You're going to hold on to your feet, or if you wanted to cross your legs, you can hold on this way. It's completely up to you. Whatever's most comfortable. And literally, your seated row, uh, roll, <laughs> sorry, is you're gonna roll. Kind of like an egg. Oh, like a little bit of a Humpty Dumpty. Oh. <sighs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just doing this at my house all the time. So people Ooh. might call this popcorn. Um, I like to think of Humpty Dumpty a little bit more. I definitely feel like I'm too empty more than Oh my that. god! <laughs> Sometimes it's harder to get up. Oh. I'm gonna go for another round. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost hard. Oh. just as hard to get down as it is to get up. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <sighs> Once you're done rolling around your living room or your bedroom or wherever you're trying this warm up at, we're gonna sit here and you can have your legs in the same position. You can have your legs shake down straight. We're gonna sit up straight a little bit and we're gonna do three solid deep breaths. Everybody's breath sounds different. Don't be worried about being loud or sounding too deep. Um, I was practicing my breaths earlier, so <laughs> we're just gonna do two super deep inhales and exhales. You can control it or you can just uh, let it out. So we're gonna do three together. Felt so good after that was awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope you guys feel warm and you're ready to get into your workout. That's right, you're not done yet. <laughs> we just started. That's the beginning. Again, I am Mora. I'm Haley. And thank you for joining the warm up, and we'll see you in the cool down. Awesome. Hey guys, welcome to week two. This week we're going to be working on your core. As always, we're going to start with your movement prep. Today I have Elise with us. She's going to be running us through what the workout looks like. So we're going to start with our shoulder floats. You're going to grab one of your resistance bands, uh, three colors. 
You're gonna put it around your forearms, or you can go a little lower on your elbows. You're gonna squeeze your uh, armpits down just like you're holding up a dress, and you're gonna bring your arms out shoulder width apart, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna float your arms up, and you really want it to be moving from your back, not the top of your shoulder, and then float your arms down. And you want to keep equal resistance the whole time. Float your arms up, float your arms down. And just like every movement prep, we're just doing this until we can feel that our muscles are activated. So you can pause the video and do as many reps as you like. Elise is going to move on to the next one. This one, it's going to be shoulder floats again, but you're going to use your band on the door. So she's going to grab it with the outside hand. You can have as much tension or as little tension as you want. It's the same thing. You're going to squeeze that back, squeeze your armpits down like you're holding the dress up, and then you're going to float your shoulder up. So the work should be coming from your back, not from your top of your shoulders. You might not be able to go whole, the whole way because it's the resistance. So you're just going to go until you can feel that back fl um, flare up like it's turned on. Then you're going to turn around and do the other side. Perfect. Same thing, squeeze your back. Awesome. And you're just going to go as high as you can without flaring up the top of your shoulder. Great. The next one, you're going to do your bird dog. And same thing, bird dog floats. So she's going to grab the resistance band of her choice, put it around her knees, go right above your knees. She's going to go into all fours. Remember in bird dog, you want a nice flat back. You don't want to be moving your hips or your shoulders. She's going to make her uh, knees a little wider apart. Perfect. And so instead of bringing your leg out backwards like we did the first week, she's actually going to bring it sideways. Just like that. Good. Other side. And she wants as little movement of the hips possible. Then she's going to float her arm up. Good. Float the other arm. Good. And now she's going to alternate. So one arm, one leg. Good, and she's gonna try not to, there, that one was much better. So if you're working out with your family, you can put maybe a plate or something on their back or really challenge them so that it falls off, it'll break. <laughs> you're gonna do as many as you can until you feel everything turn on. Last one for movement prep, we're gonna let her take that off. This is gonna be elbow to the sky. So this is for your rotation. So remember with your core, it really matters in terms of if you can rotate your body. So she's gonna set up, it's gonna be on her hands and knees again. She's gonna bring uh, this hand to her neck. And all she's gonna do is she's gonna look up to the sky. So she's gonna rotate this way. And there's gonna be resistance on that band. See how that elbow goes. And then she's gonna pull in. So she's gonna have that resistance on her core. She's gonna come back up. Resistance on that band through her elbow. Good. And pull down. Same thing. Resistance on that band if she can. Good. Very good. And then you're gonna switch sides. Same thing, she's gonna set up strong core. Good. And she's really just focusing on how does the resistance change her rotation as many times as she's like, and then you're all done with movement prep. All right, now that you're all done with your movement prep, we're gonna move into our drills. As always, we're gonna start with our footwork. So for the resistance band, we're always gonna put them around our waist for our footwork. And this is our t-shirt footwork. So you can grab a t-shirt as always, every week. You're gonna put it down, have your uh, bands around your waist, this week it's all about core, which means you're really turning that rectangle. So your shoulders to your hips is what makes your rectangle. So I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna step into the neckline, into the neckline, shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, armpit, armpit, and then that C-step backwards. C-step backwards. And as always, you're gonna do that three times through to, to make up your uh, circuit series. You can pause the video. Elise is gonna come in and show us the next thing. 
So this is gonna be your animal movements. This one's a little different. You're gonna put them around your waist. You can start down on your hands and knees. You're just gonna feel what it looks like. Maybe she's just gonna bring her bum right up in the air at first, so she can just feel what it looks like to have something putting things on her hips, pressure on her hips. She's gonna move around kind of side to side. You can move backwards. You can move forwards. There's another one you can do. She's gonna dip her hip underneath her. There, good, good, other side. Good. Now she's just going to rest for a second. She's going to switch and she's going to have it so she's in crab walk position. So this is going to help you pick your hips up to the sky. So you're going to feel that pressure. So you really want it. There you go. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to move sideways, backwards, forwards, just like that. And you're just going to practice moving around. You can come on down. If you'd like, you can also do it. Yep, come on, yep, come out, however you want to come out. If you'd like, you can also do it so that you hook up the things to your hands. So maybe you come through like this. You can have them on each hand, come through. So then you're walking around and the resistance on your hands so you can feel what that feels like. You can also do it so that the resistance is on your ankles. So you can hook these up to your ankles and just work on your animal walks and with resistance. It's gonna make your core a lot stronger and a lot more aware of when you move to the left or the right, do you fall over. Give yourself some time, play around, do that as much as you'd like with drills. This is all about feeling good and getting really competent or really um, excellent at something. The next one, as always with core, is gonna be your stands. So your headstands, your handstands, that kind of thing. If you haven't done a headstand in a long time, or if you haven't done one since last month when we tried, remember the first steps is just getting your head underneath your shoulders again. So you're just gonna be here, you're gonna put your head down, maybe you just put pressure on your neck. Maybe it's the first time you've done that in a long time, like I said. Once you are good with that, I'm gonna fold up my mat so I have more cushion on my head. Make sure you have a towel or something. Once you're good with that, maybe you pop up onto your feet, put pressure on. The next one, Elise is going to attempt to show us for the teddy bear stand. <laughs> so you're going to roll up, you're going to put pressure there, just like that. You can bring one knee to your elbow, other knee, yeah, and come up. Perfect. Good. And you're going to do those for holds. If you feel comfortable, you can also do a handstand against the wall. Neither of us feel super comfortable doing that, but let us know in your weekly survey if you did. Play around, do as many of those as you want. Do it for time, do it for reps, whatever is fun for you. All right, so I hope you had some fun with your drills. I hope your core is feeling warmed up and ready to go. Now we're gonna go into our strength and conditioning part of things. So you're gonna have the band around your waist again. You're gonna step forward and give it a little bit of tension. You're gonna pop down to your knees and we're gonna practice our roll-ups. So the roll-up, your toes are down here. She's gonna come up onto her knees like this. She's gonna roll up, boom, step. And she doesn't wanna go backwards too much. She wants to try and resist that band pulling her backwards. So she's gonna try again. She's gonna roll up, good, good. And she's gonna do, once again, you're gonna do one, five, 15, however many you want. And then you're gonna take a breather and then you're gonna do two more sets. So she's gonna do one more to show us. We're here, she's gonna roll up, catch her balance. Perfect. So remember, pause the video so you can get your sets and reps in. Now she's gonna uh, take this off and she's gonna reset for the next exercise. So she's actually gonna attach these to her ankles this time. So you have those little Velcro things that came She's gonna come out so there's tension. And we're just gonna change the tension now. So it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna start in that roll up. So we're gonna go down. She's gonna roll up, boom. She's gonna to fall to a plank. And she's gonna jump her feet forward. Boom, good, come up. She's gonna step back, reset, go to a roll up position. She's gonna roll up, drop to a plank, jump, boom, come straight up. You can do this as fast as you want, as slow as you want. It's really up to you. Same thing. You're going to do one, five, 15 reps, 
Take a breather, do two more sets. Your last one is gonna be with one of these bands. You're gonna put the band around your knees or above your knees, always. She's gonna start with her basic plank, so she's gonna be on her hands. And as you can see, this band is just gonna cause resistance so that she's actually firing her bum. So she's gonna hold this. You can, remember what I said, you wanna be able to hold a plank for two minutes. That's what you're building up to. So you can hold it for five seconds, 10 seconds, and you're just trying to figure out kind of building that capacity. Now she's gonna to go to the other side. And she's gonna, oh, yeah. You can go on your elbow if you want. Yeah. Elbow, yeah. perfect, yeah. And then she's gonna try and put a little resistance right there. Perfect, come down, other side. So you can go on your elbow or your hand. You're gonna try and apply a little bit of resistance. You got it, a little rough. A little rough. This side, there you go. There you go, perfect. Then she's gonna flip over to her back. Remember, this is called reverse bridge. She's gonna apply resistance on that band. She's gonna stick her hips right to the ceiling and she's gonna hold that for as long as she can. You're gonna do that, take a breather, redo the whole set for time again. Take a breather, redo the whole set. Awesome job, I hope that you felt some increases and that you feel like you're getting more fit and I can't wait to see uh, what you guys say in your weekly survey. Hey guys, it's us again and we are about to start the cool down. You have completed your workout of the day and we're gonna bring our heart rates back down to our rested numbers. You've worked hard, you're sweaty, and you're ready to just sum it all up. For our cool down, we are gonna start with a stand up spine roll, lay down twist to each side, then we are gonna move to knees to chest circles, and we're really gonna end it with a few affirmations for our workout today. So to start, we're gonna stand up straight with our stand up spine roll, Posture, right, <laughs> and we're going to slowly <laughs> lower our heads and then slowly simply roll forward and straight down. This is a personal favorite. I have a very bad lower back and I really get that stretch at the end of a workout. I always forget to breathe in this, so make sure you're always breathing. It's a very good tip. And you just want to kind of dangle. If you can't have your legs straight, use your knees, bend your knee a little bit, allow your body to reach to the ground. You can move to the right, you can move to the left and just really pay attention to what your body's feeling right now after that really good workout. And we're gonna roll back up. Nice and slow. We're gonna do it three times total, so two more. And we're gonna go back down. Nice and slow. Whew. Feel it the second time for sure, yeah. You can cross your arms and let the arms dang, like cross and just hold them there. Sometimes I find that's a little comfortable. Use your knees. Remember, if you don't, if you aren't comfortable straight in your legs yet, and you can go from side to side, kind of move your hips a little to get that nice stretch. And you're gonna work your way back up slowly. <sighs> and one more. And slowly back down. You kind of look like one of those uh, those car decal decals outside of like car furniture stores. And they have like the air. The balloon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have no air right now. <laughs> We're tired from our workout. Yeah. And just let that stretch. Really pay attention to how good that feels. And we're going to work our way slowly up. 
get into our lay down twist so you will lay down on your back feet in front of you arms to the side you're going to lift one leg knee to chest and take that knee across and you're gonna hold it here and just feel that sometimes you'll get a pop a crack and you're just gonna let your back and your abdomen just lay twisted. You want your opposite arm to lay down and pay attention to your breathing and the stretch and just hold it here. We're gonna move straight to our back, switch legs, leg up to your knee, take your opposite hand and bring your knee over. Have that arm straight out, twist your body and just hold it there and just breathe. <laughs> We're just really enjoying the stretch, guys. This is good. Oh, wow, yeah. Ooh. And you're going to bring that leg back. And forward. And you can sit up. The last cool down exercise we're going to do is knees to chest circles. So we're actually going to lay back down, have both of our knees up to our chests. Um, and then we're going to wiggle around in little circles. So we're laying back down, knees to chest. You can clamp over, you can clamp under. Under's more comfortable for me right now. And we're just gonna make little circles with our back and our bodies. Little circles. And just feel. I know sometimes I think mine's more like a square with how my hips move, but <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it. That's all that matters, right? We're doing it. <laughs> Little circle. We're getting that movement. You want to keep your back flat to the ground. <laughs> as many circles as you can get. <laughs> Just feeling that tension leave. is our cool down oh and now we're gonna go through um, some important affirmations to really talk to yourself in a proper way uh, be thankful for your body and what you did today um, so we're gonna go over three specific affirmations and we really encourage you to do the same uh, share them with us if you'd like so we're gonna go through what did you do well what are you proud of and what's something you want to improve um so i will go first what did i do well um i felt like i worked on my footwork really well that was great um yeah Today I'm going to choose that I worked on my footwork really well. I liked, um, I think my favorite that I did well was the t-shirt exercise. Mm, that's one of my favorites too. Um, I am proud of myself for showing up today. It's really hard sometimes and sometimes you don't want to do it, but you feel really great in the end. So that's what I'm proud of. Um, 
and I am going to improve my mobility. <laughs> I have to pay attention, continue and stay consistent with my mobility. Um, and I think that really showed in my warm up. So I'm going to continue to improve my mobility. I think I did well in my mobility mm -hmm. and I'm just super proud of myself that I was able to laugh when I failed. That's true. Like for one of the exercises, I know one of the balancing ones fell over like probably 20 times, but I got back, back up and out. did it again. And I was just able to laugh it off, which I'm super happy about. And same thing, like I improved on my balance quite a bit, so. Perfect. Um, don't forget to share your affirmations if you'd like, write them down, um, and at least just ask yourself, what did you do well today? What are you proud of? And what are you ready and excited to improve on? See you guys.